Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another Red Dead 2 video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you guys very quickly how you can unlock the double action revolver as well as the stone hatchet from the challenges that we took part in months ago on GTA 5 Online. If you guys aren't aware, months back, Rockstar Games were running a promotion that you could complete challenges in GTA Online that would unlock rare items for you exclusively in Red Dead 2. Now, of course, I did cover these challenges as soon as they came out on my channel. If I do remember, Remember, I'll try and leave a link to those videos down low and I've had tons of comments and messages from you guys asking me yo where the hell is my double action revolver or my stone hatchet from doing the challenges so I thought I'd make a very quick video just showing you guys how you could actually unlock them forever for your character so firstly the double action revolver if you guys have completed the related treasure hunt like I said I will leave a link down low then you guys will actually have the double action revolver in your inventory automatically as soon as you guys complete the last mission of chapter one known as eastward bound and you guys will know this because the gold metal color to customize the stock version of the weapon is also exclusive to the gta online challenge which you guys can see on screen so it does look like a pretty awesome gun here's a bit of gameplay that you guys can see on screen right now it works exactly the same way that it does in gta online trust me guys double action revolver you're not going to get too much difference with a double action revolver in different games now here's a quick look at the stats for the double action revolver as you guys can see it is actually pretty beastly i'm not gonna lie and of course you guys will have the option to always upgrade your guns and buy attachments which obviously will increase the stats of the gun but three things that do stand out definitely are the accuracy the reload and the fire rate of this thing definitely worth having in your inventory now moving on to the second weapon the stone hatchet and of course just like the revolver you guys will have to complete the stone hatchet challenge in GTA Online and make sure you guys are using the same Rockstar Social Club account for both games. There's no point if you guys are doing a challenge on your PS4 account and going onto Xbox and expecting to have the stone hatchet. It doesn't work that way. However, this one is a bit more interesting and it won't just be sitting there in your inventory to get this weapon. You guys will actually have to go to a Native American burial site, which is actually located north of Lake Awanjili. 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 <laughs> I can't say that name to save the life of me. Some of these names really do crack me up in the game. However, it is right here, as you guys can see, west of Strawberry. However, once you guys arrive close to the location, it will be very, very obvious to see. So as you guys can see, there is tons of like Native American paraphernalia all around, obviously being a burial site where someone was buried. However, you guys will also be able to take notes of this site in your journal, which could potentially lead on to more game completion. However, all you guys have to do is walk up to the center of the burial site and pick up the stone hatchet. And then from here, you guys have now unlocked this forever. And obviously being a melee weapon, there isn't too much to look at with the stats. Obviously the damage and the range is massive on this thing. Honestly, it is so swift taking out people with this stone hatchet. Just throwing it and the way it flies in the air and takes out the enemies instantly is definitely one of my top favorite weapons in the game. I actually decided to go and try it out over here as you guys can see and i just kept on getting witnesses spotting me every time and they just kept on receiving the stone hatchet straight to the face but one thing you definitely have to remember when using this weapon is that if you are throwing it at a character make sure that you go over to the character and pick it up off their body otherwise you guys will just be leaving it there sitting in the ground nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys it's a very quick video showing you how to get the double action revolver and the stone hatchet from the gta 5 challenges i will leave a link to the full red dead 2 playlist down low where i've got a bunch of different tips guides and easter eggs so definitely go and check that out if you haven't seen it yet and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 and red dead 2 videos and i'll see you guys in my next video